welcome back to youtube channel of go global wins so in our, in our last session we have learned about making animations how can we make animations in picture blocks or we can send scratch but something was missing in our animation sound yeah so animations are miss, uh, not complete without sound sounds make our animations more attractive now before moving on to that like how can we add the animations in our project what is sound first of all we should understand what is sound so sound is something that you hear when someone speaks sings or play a musical instrument it can be played available by importing built in sound library or recording like we can uh, upload the sounds from the from our pc and or we can use the sounds from picture blocks only just similar to uh, this as we have used those uh, sprites and backdrops from the uh, picture blocks library similarly we will be uh, uploading the sounds and we will be making a animation today with the sound so let's start the today's project so just open your picture blocks yeah so yeah so we have to create an animation with the sound so first of all the first step will be to delete the toby we will not be using toby today we will use some other sprite okay let's choose the sprite then let it get open okay. so let's choose dog today let's see if we have dog in our sprite library oh yeah so we are having different dogs like dot and a puppy so i will use this dog as my sprite and i will be adding a backdrop also let's add the backdrop for our project oh, your projects are not complete without any backdrop it looks very dull without a uh, backdrop like with a white backdrop it looks it looks very dull so let's choose this jungle one hmm i hope it's looking good now with the like this jungle backdrop and our dog sprite so uh, what will be the idea of today's project like we will be uh, pressing our space key and our dog sprite will be moving on to some random position and it will be uh, like making some sound so i hope you guys know uh, what sounds do do dogs make so we will be adding that sound in our pictoblocks library first from the pictoblocks library first so what you guys have to do on the top of your toolbox on the top of your toolbox we are having these three palettes one is code then we are having this costumes and then sounds so what we have to do is just simply click on this sounds palette click on this sounds palette okay so we are already having one sound over here let's see what sound we are having okay perfect so we are having this uh, dog sound over here or we can check it in the library also like if we are having any other sound let's type dog over here oh yeah so we are having to so you are having three different types of sounds of for the dog so you can choose any one according to your choice so i will be going with this dog one only and i will pick on now code so we will be starting with the code first okay so before starting the code i want to uh, explain you one more thing today so in your object section over here we are having two terms here one is this x and then second one is y over here what do these x and y tell us okay so let me give you a very simple uh, example to explain this thing uh, suppose you have ordered something on uh, your this amazon or flipkart and the person delivery agent is coming to your house he called you and then you give your address to that person so uh, like he will come to that address uh, the, your your house by using the address which you gave him okay no like you will in your address you will be having your house number street number and your area name of your area locality all those things will be mentioned similarly 
if we have to find where our sprite is right now on, on our stage area, we get that thing with the help of these X and Y. So these X and Y values give us the address of our sprite. So see, now just uh, look on the screen. When I will move this uh, dot sprite to some other position, the values of X and Y will change. See, the values have been changed. Now if I will move over here, then also it's value change. So these X and Y gives you the position of your sprite, or we can see, uh, we can say they uh, these X and Y values give us the address of our sprite, where our sprite is located on the stage area. Okay, I hope it's uh, clear to you guys. So, uh, what we will do to start our project first, we will give uh, initial position to our top, like whenever we click on this green flag it has to start from this particular position only so what i need is i want it to start from here and i want it to uh, come to this position when i click on this green flag so first of all i will go to the events palette and take out the block when green flag is clicked when green flag is clicked now the next step or the next instruction which we want to give like whenever the green flag is clicked, we want this dog sprite to be on this position. So to do this thing, we have to go to the motion palette. We have to go to the motion palette. And in motion palette, we have this flow, go to X and Y. Go to X and Y. Right now, uh, the object section is uh, showing the values 45 and minus 166. These are the current values of my dog sprite and same values are over here. So I will not change these things. So whenever I will click on the green flag, my dog sprite will be on this position. Let's check it. Uh, let me just move it to some other position. Now I will click on the green flag. Okay. So yeah, this is working perfectly fine. My dog is coming back to its original position. Let's try one more time. Okay. I'm placing it over here. Now I will again click on the green flag. Okay. It's again to it, uh, came back to its original position. Okay. Now, what will be the next step? Now, what I need is, okay, uh, I want it to move randomly when I press the space key. Okay, so uh, earlier we have done, okay, whenever the flag will be clicked, we want uh, this dog sprite to come to its original position. Now, the next instruction which I want to uh, give is, okay, whenever I press the space key from my keyboard, this dog sprite has to move to some random position, some any random position. So first of all, we will go back to the events palette, go back to your events palette and drag out this block when space key is pressed. Okay, and one thing more, it is not uh, limited to the space key only. If you want to do uh, give, give this instruction with any other key, you can give that instruction with uh, another keys also. Like, let me show you when I will click on this uh, white triangle over here, you will get the list of num uh, all the keys available in your keyboards, like space key, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow, A, B, C, D, all numerical keys, no, sorry, alphabetical keys and numeric keys also. So you can choose any key. I will be going with the space key only. So whenever the space key is pressed, I want my dog sprite to glide at some random position. So go back to your motion sprite, go back to your motion sprite and choose this block, glide one second to random position. Glide one second to random position. Now let's see if it works or not. I'm pressing my space key. Okay. It is gliding to some random position. Okay. Let's check now if I will click on green flag, then what will happen? Okay, now it's a, it is coming back to its original position. Okay, now the next thing, the main motive of today's session, like how to add the sound. Now we have already added the sound in our, uh, uh, like in our database, in the sounds palette. So we just have to add the block now. Like whenever I press the space key, after gliding to some random position, I want it to uh, play that sound also. So now in the sounds palette, I will go to the sounds palette and I will take this block play sound dog one 
until done. Play sound dog one until done. Okay, it's very simple. We just have to drag this block. Hmm. Now, the next thing, let's try with this again. Well, let's press the space key. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's working fine. It's working fine. Okay. Now, we are making an animation. We are making an animation. And in the last session, we have learned how to make an animation. Like if we want to make our sprites look like they are moving, they are walking or they're running, we have to take the help of our costumes. Okay, so I hope you guys remember the things which we have learned in our previous session. So we will be using those things again today. So what you guys have to do, we just have to take that uh, from the looks palette, I will take this block switch costume to dog 1B and I will change it to dog 1A and I will place it over here first, switch costume to dog 1A and then I will again take one more block, switch costume to dog 1B and I will place it over here. Let's see what will happen now. Let's press the space, space key first. Okay, see, it is changing its costume. It, it, uh, the tongue is coming out and the last when dog is coming to some random position. After barking, it is like after making the sound, it is taking out his tongue out. Now let's press the green flag. Okay, it's coming back to its position. Now see, when it is coming back to its position, his tongue is still out. So what we can do, we can add one block over here also in the when green flag play. Switch costume to dog 1B and I will change it to dog 1A. So that whenever we click on the green flag, it should come back to its original, uh, its first costume. Let's try it again. It's gliding to some random positions. Okay. Let's click on the green flag now. Okay. So I hope uh, you guys have uh, learned this thing now and you just have to rename your project. Rename the project as playing sounds and then click on file and save it to your computer. So when you, okay, your file will get downloaded in your computer. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. So guys do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting projects. We will be back with uh, soon with a new video. Bye-bye guys. Thank you.